Hey everybody, so today I have here, this is a Dell XPS 7590. It's in here for repair. Um, a lot of what we're going to be going over today is is based on uh, something maybe it's either not charging, the battery isn't charging, the AC adapter isn't really charging, and just a quick, simple uh, look at it that you can actually do yourself at home to see really what the problem is. So for Dell laptops, they're actually really particular about charging, and especially the chargers. If there's a bad charger, it won't charge the battery because it's in like a safety mode where it won't do that if there's a defective charger, or if it just doesn't recognize the charger, it won't charge the battery, or if the battery is bad, obviously it's not gonna charge either. I do have this one here. We're gonna go open it up and go take a look at really the issue. It's a nice Dell laptop, and we're actually able to turn it on at least, but it has a lot of trouble uh, charging. So if we turn it on, we can actually hit F2. That's that's what you want to do first, is hit F2. You'll see the backlight of the keyboard lit up, and what you're gonna do is be going into the BIOS. Now we're not recommending you changing any of these settings on the BIOS. Changing settings on a BIOS is a little bit dangerous because you can obviously uh, make make it not boot. You can erase things, especially in the Dell UEFI here. There's lots of different settings to actually go. You can wipe the drive. You can uh, disable a lot of different features. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. You don't want to be messing with anything. But we're not looking at anything. We're just going to right now. It's a battery information. And what the battery information is going to do, do is going to give you a nice little description of what's going on with the battery. And it's a real good way to tell if you have a healthy battery, if you don't have a healthy battery, or another issue may occur. So we do have it here. We have about 6% battery life. We do also have a charger here that we have. It's a nice uh, big AC adapter. I believe it's 130 watt. Uh, this is a Dell Genuine one, which is the same one that came with the machine. We want to make sure that we plug it in, and we're going to go ahead and run some tests on it to see what our problem actually is here. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we get. So we plugged it in and we see that even though it's plugged in here at the corner, that nothing has changed. It doesn't recognize an adapter, doesn't recognize anything. If I unplug it, right, we, we take a look at the adapter, we see that it's a little bit bent, that can be an issue, it can be. Um, and if it detects that that is a problem, it actually won't charge at all. And it, it, will, it will make sure that it saves the battery and make sure it doesn't affect the computer, so it won't charge actually at all. Another thing it can be also, if we plug it in, and this is actually why we're talking about this one here, it's because I'm showing a good instance. Now you see that it did work, right? So it did plug in. And now it does show that there is a 130 watt charger there. It does recognize it and it's charging the battery and the battery and the health of the battery is actually excellent. But if we actually maneuver a little bit, you see that? I just twisted it a little bit and then it did change. Now it's not charging, now it's charging, now it's idle. Now it's doing a lot of different things. You can see every time I'm just twisting it on the side here. See that and it'll do that. And it's a little bit loose here. Uh, usually if it's a little bit loose, usually that jack needs to be changed. And I do believe on this model that it will need to be changed uh, for this one. Usually that's a problem with the jack itself. Um, if there was a problem with the battery, you would see that the battery would say the health would be either excellent or not excellent. And it usually would say fair if the battery is, in, is maybe in, in a declining health or that the battery would be um, need to be replaced. It would say poor and health. But this one, the battery looks excellent. The charger looks to be okay because it is charging it at a certain angle. It is recognizing that it is an AC adapter. So we know for sure the AC adapter is fine. The battery is fine and that there most likely is a charging port issue. If we get the right angle, if you can look at it here, there's a little, um, pretty much a, there's a pin in there, uh, it's covered by plastic. So this piece of plastic actually is covering a metal piece, which is getting the connectivity for your DC jack to be connected to the laptop to charge the battery. If you see this, uh, I'll actually put an example here um, of an example of a damaged uh, DC jack that you can see the metal that's actually surrounding it. It's really dangerous to plug it in if it's like in that position. Uh, if it is in that pos position, you would need to replace the jack because you can actually harm the computer if you kept plugging it in and because it's metal touching metal and you don't want to short the laptop itself there because that's really dangerous. Um, for this, it does look like that the DC jack has been damaged and what we're going to do is just replace it. So uh, replacing this one's actually pretty easy. It's not too bad, but I just want to show you guys at least on this end about what the different things may be. So let's go ahead and just replace the jack. It doesn't actually take too long and we'll make sure we test it out, make sure there's no other problems. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flip it to the bottom here. Um, you would need a type of maybe a torque screwdriver usually for these. Uh, that's that's usually to prevent people from opening it in the first place. Probably need something like that. Uh, we wanna make sure we open it just like that. It's pretty easy. And now for this, um, always undo the battery. Now for these, uh, if you actually look at these, this is, these are really similar to a lot of the newer Precision uh, Dell models as well. So if you have a Dell XPS, a Dell Precision, uh, that's very similar to this model that has a graphics chip, usually like either the MX150 uh, or the or GTX like 1060. If you have one of those, you might have something very similar, similar layout like this. 
Um, obviously, it's just a DC jack, so it's nothing too crazy in here. Um, but we want to make sure we at least undo the battery. Make sure that's totally out there, totally loose. Now, our DC jack is actually over here. So it's pretty easy to get to. It's pretty easy to access it. Um, but there is a cable going over it. We don't want to move around it. We could, but it's a little bit safer just to just remove this. This is your LCD cable. I'm taking this out. A little bit of adhesive there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, pop it. So I'm going to make sure it goes straight up, make sure there's no damage to it. <laughs> you want to damage that. And then we can also heat this up. Because it is taped there. We'll make sure we get this out of the way. And we also do have a hinge over here. That's part of the top cover. Now I'm going to lift this a little bit up if I just take maybe the bottom here, lift it a little bit up so I get a little bit of leeway. This hinge is going to come up right by itself. It's still a little bit tough, so we still probably need to go a little bit further on the bottom there. So we can push it there with our fingers. Now it's up, and there's a screw in here. If you ever see that the DC jack is loose, it's because the screw is usually, um, or at least this little casing has been damaged. So I'll show you that once we lift this up. You can see it's twisted in a way. It's not super aesthetic, but it's, <laughs> it's going to be the way to go. Okay, so this comes up, and this is the, the screw part I'm talking about, this little holder. If this is broken, you usually have like a loose jack in here, so it'll be very easy for this to just wobble left and right. If this part is broken in here, you're going to need a top cover piece, because that's the only way really to put it back. You don't want to, you might be able to glue it because it's, it's not a moving part, but you don't want to uh, damage it or risk it or anything like that. So this is your DC jack that comes out. Um, and let's see if we, I don't know if I can really show if it's moving or not inside there, but the little back piece, uh, these get damaged real easily. It's not moving too much here, but when you plug it in, the little back piece in the back there can get damaged. If it's a solder job, it's a little bit different. It won't be just like this, but this is the back piece. Uh, it's really hard to see in there because this is usually broken off if there's a problem. But again, I'll show that. I already showed that before, so we don't really care about this one. Now we want to have an exact replacement because they are really important, especially the ones, uh, you might find some that don't have this piece. If this piece is broken, you definitely want to get another one because you want to be able to hold it in. So, uh, and we saw how it was held in before, so we want to make sure that we put it in the right way. And you can actually test it like this too if you want to test it first to make sure it's going to be fine, it's going to be loading, there's no problem. Or if you want to put it all back, you can do that as well. Yeah, I think this will hold fine. And then we can go ahead and close it. Always just putting the battery last anyway. <laughs> so everything looks fine. We're just going to go put ahead, put this back. And then we'll go ahead and test it. Okay, so we're back and we have our... <laughs> a little bit dirty, huh? We have our jack replaced. And now what we want to do is plug this in, make sure there's no problems at any time when this is plugged in. So you see it plugged in right away. It recognized it. We want to make sure we were able to twist it. It's working totally fine. See, it says AC adapter, good. Charging fine, unplug it. It has a much more solid fit in here too now. We see every time I plug in, unplug it, still looks to be okay. I'm twisting it, issue has been fixed. It's a good way to tell if you have a bad AC adapter, if you have a bad battery, or have a bad DC jack. So just an easy way to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed something. If you learned something today, if you did, please leave a like. Really just help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. We do lots of liquid spill repairs, day recoveries, um, cool software repairs as well, and, and some basic tools and, and other things to show you guys that we find is interesting and that you guys may like. So anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.